So I thought it was time to pot up my banana tree. I bought this online back in January from Michigan Bulb when they had a marked down half price, which would be about $7.50. So I thought if all goes wrong and I'm not able to keep this thing alive, then I can not have to worry about it costing me so much trial and error. Um, this, I believe, is a three gallon container. It might be a two gallon. Uh, so it is really too small for this banana tree. It dries out way too fast. Uh, the banana tree is not in the best shape it's ever been in because I'm not keeping it watered as much as I should. So I thought today would be a great day for me to go ahead and pot that up. Now, I got this container from Lowe's. It was fairly inexpensive. It's plastic, so it'll be light for me to carry because I am going to bring this inside the house into what I was labeling my craft room. It might wind up being a grow room. I'm gonna bring my Meyer lemon tree and the banana tree at the, at the least into that room with a grow light over the winter because this banana tree is not gonna survive in an unheated greenhouse here in Alabama. Although I'm in zone 8A, and one of the girls I went to high school with that lives in the same city as me said, she actually has a banana tree that's putting out bananas for the first time this year, and she has it planted in the ground. So maybe I could plant it in the ground, but I still wanna take any chances right now with it being so young. So this year, it's gonna go in the house, into my gardening room, craft room, whatever you wanna call it. So I'm gonna plant it in this for the time being. Now, this has a thing where you could use a screwdriver to punch the holes out. I'm gonna use this half inch drill bit, which is the largest size in the kit that I have, and I'm just gonna drill holes. two here but I'm gonna go ahead and do quite a few more just to add some extra drainage now as you can see hopefully you can see there's an indention here I always like to drill a couple of holes in this as well so that water doesn't stand here Although here in Alabama, with it being so humid and things drying out so fast, I don't think this is gonna be a problem, but I still would like to do at least one hole in each section right here. So now that we have adequate drainage, some people like to put rocks in the bottom of their pots to help with the soil clogging up the holes and whatnot. I don't like to use rocks because it makes the pot heavy and takes away from the dirt space that you have. I use coffee filters. They're cheap. I just take one and I lay them down the bottom over the holes. Just going around the edges and making sure that you cover it well. That way dirt doesn't get clogged up and water can still flow freely out of the holes. So I think four should be enough. And then it's time to put the dirt in. So for my potting mix, I don't use one specific type of stuff. This right here is for Mickey Light. I get this on Greenhouse Megastore's website. It is the coarse type very thick. This helps retain moisture so that it doesn't dry out so fast. I also, here on top, this is the black cow compost that has composted cow manure in it. Also in the mix, um, down below, I've got some jungle growth because it's kind of a, a coarse type potting soil. I mix it in with some Miracle Grow potting soil. And so that's what I use for my mix. And then I just, I mix this up in a wheelbarrow make sure it's nice and evenly mixed up. So when it gets time to add the dirt to the container, I actually like to use a small little garbage can to scoop the dirt into, so it makes it a little bit quicker. You have to be careful with the first one to make sure you don't displace the coffee filters.
And then once the bottom is covered, you can add the soil. I usually put enough in and then test out the depth by placing the banana tree down inside. Has gotten root bound. It needed potting up, so hopefully this will help it. I'm gonna need to add a little more soil to this so that we can get it to about this level when it's set. So that way we have some to cover this area with. I also like to kind of do a little tamp down of the dirt so it can kind of compact a little bit. And I think this is going to be a good level for us. Take a little bit out of the middle part. And then I'll fill in around the edges. And now all I have to do is just give it some water to kind of help the soil settle a little bit around the roots and then we'll be good to go. I will keep you guys updated on the progress of this banana tree and if you want to see more videos please make sure you subscribe below and thank you for watching.